Hello and welcome back to Teletech Gaming and Stardew Valley and we on day two right now. Uh, yeah. As far as I know, the sound the sound level was actually quite okay. Oh it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so the sound was actually quite okay. It wasn't uh I wouldn't say it was perfect, but it was probably good enough. Uh, and the thing is, if it's too loud, it's not good because then my voice will uh, drown out in the noise. Uh, which isn't ideal, since, yeah, if I can't be heard, then why are you? I Am I talking at all? And the spirits are in good humor. Good, good, good. Yeah. Uh, it's going to rain. Uh, oh yeah, and Willy wants so to speak with me. Uh, wants to speak me uh, to me. Uh, and yes. What? Uh, rain means that what I'm doing right now, watering the plants, I don't have to do because it's raining. So yeah, and that's really nice. That's a lot of energy you save, which you don't have to waste on on uh, what do you call the watering, which you then can spend on yeah chopping trees or doing a bunch of other stuff so yeah it's going to be quite nice having that um, but yeah we have to wait and see because we can't really do much other than tidying up and running around and talking to people we're we actually going to run to the beach and talk to Willy. Uh, oh yeah, leeks. We are going to pick up these. They are really good. Uh, there are items all over the place uh, on the map. So running around, uh, keeping an eye out for anything that you that could be laying around is really good because it's just free items and Demetrius wants a Joja Cola yeah sure if we can get one we will give it to him if we can't then he won't get it Obvious obviously and yeah here we are and since this is a cutscene I will Try to speak goodish. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a new <laughs> heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Hey, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to, to me that the art of, of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe we'll buy something from the shop once in a while. You received the bamboo Bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. So come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway.
Yeah, so this is Willie, the fisherman in town, and he surprisingly enough likes fish. And boom, yeah, the fishing in this game is uh, interesting. Let's see when we catch one. So I can show what happens when you actually catch a fish. There we go, hit. Yeah, this is... You control the bar by clicking and holding your my mouse button. And then the green bar goes up and down depending on how close you are to actually catching the fish. So... Tried starfish. Okay. You found an artifact. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the museum with that one. Go to Gunther, uh, yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, so fishing is actually quite good. Um, it might be hard. I don't have any problem fishing, so... But I know, I know some people might actually find it hard. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a grand groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will ya? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. And yeah, uh, donating here is actually really good. Uh, and if as if you hover, hover over uh, an item and it's in the in the uh, tooltip box says Gunter can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum that means the item can be do donated and if you then get a second one it won't that tooltip won't show that Gunter can tell you more about it and that way you can see what you actually need to donate and what you have left to donate. So yeah, let's see. <clears throat> and there we have her. Oh my god. Yeah, sometimes you can get stuck and hopefully you um, get unstuck. <laughs> uh, yes, let's see here if we can talk to as many people as possible. So we... Dun, 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 dun. Hello, 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 hello. Can I get past? Nope. Uh, there we go. Room. Let's see here. Do I. 
what should I pick? Should I pick the potato? Yeah, I'm gonna actually take the potato seeds. I usually go quite aggressive um, in the start buying seeds because buying seeds is actually really important and stacking up uh, before beforehand is really good as well. Right, I'm actually going to go back and buy even more. I'm gonna keep the leaks because I will show you why later. I might not actually unlock uh, that in this episode, so we will see when that happens and I will explain why I'm keeping them. Let me see. Let's see. I have 250. Um, all, all crops take a certain amount of days to grow until you actually can harvest them. It takes a certain amount of days and parsnip seeds is the fastest one. And this early we want, not only do we want fast money, we also want fast crops to be able to level up as fast as possible. But at the same time, we need all kinds of crops. So picking a bit of everything is really important. We're going to have to try and fix this. Let's see if we can I'm gonna put those away. I don't want um, my crops to get eaten by crows so I'm not going to plant anything else just yet. The thing is your farming level uh, doesn't get increased un uh, until you harvest something and yeah the, it's that means until these have grown I can't really yeah until then I can't uh, level up I can't use the things I would uh, have from leveling up and there's no way of getting it earlier and if we look at skills here I have foraging one but farming I don't have because I haven't I haven't harvest yet uh, whatever I plant planted so That means I need to um, I need to wait until it has grown and I ha have harvested until I can uh, level up. And those 15 parsnip seeds you get in the beginning, those are actually enough to level up once. So. If you don't want to um, put down anything else other than those you get in the beginning, that's absolutely fine. You should, as long as no crow comes around eating uh, eating whatever you put down, uh, you should actually level up. Uh, and the thing is, when you get level one farming, you get uh, the scarecrow which you have to make to scare away the crows so your crops don't get eaten. And that's the reason why I'm not putting down anything else because if I have anything else around 
before I have uh, scarecrows, it will waste at least one crop. And yeah, that's wasted money and you're short on money in the beginning, so yeah. Let's see, I have very little energy left. These spring onions are actually quite good to use as a replenisher. Because they give you some energy back and they are not needed in anything. They're just random things you can pick up. Uh, which isn't used in crafting or anything else, so... But I'm actually going to... No, not that one. Yeah, this one. There we go. It was a silver star one, but whatever. And running around picking up um, stuff is the best thing you can do in the beginning. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Uh, you can by any means go just go to bed. Like forcing the day to pass. Which is fine. Uh, it depends on what you think is fun gameplay. I am, sadly I have to say, a bit min-max player, which sometimes make, makes me do things which can be boring. Um, I have more than once actually become bored when playing a game because I do th do something the most efficient way of doing it. So, yeah, the... In this case, I don't mind. It's, um... It's a way of, um... Wasting a bit of time, but doing it efficiently, so... And it's still fun. I, um... I have to say, this is one of the games which is which is really fun just running around do, doing the same thing over and over again and there's a really good progression in the game where you come to a point where you don't need to do a lot of stuff manually so yeah let's see here I'm gonna Put away. Yeah, as you can see, I have 158 fiber. In the last episode, I throw uh, did throw away like 30, and I said, "Yeah, I can get a bunch more." Basically, and yeah, it's super easy to get fiber in the beginning. So, you found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside. Yeah, these are geodes are something you want to keep and store. Um, see here, 43. I should be able to cut down one more tree. And after that, I would probably not be able to do anything else so yeah no I can't do anything more than that and it's going to rain and I'm actually just going straight into bed and we are going to I might I would probably do two um, days in the game for each episode that means every episode might be more than 30 minutes, but yeah, I think it's better because one day is almost never just 
30 minutes. Yeah, it's gonna rain. T it's raining today, but it's clear and sunny tomorrow. And the spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Yeah, that's not good. But probably won't make any major differences. Hopefully. Yeah. I. These uh, acorns and stuff uh, from the trees have been laying around. The reason why I didn't pick them up is because if you don't have foraging level 1 properly, so you can craft the field snack, you won't get any anything. Even if you see one on uh, on the ground, in the ground, you and you hack away at it, you won't actually get anything because you yeah. have. But now, since I have the recipe, I can get these acorns and pine cones and maple seeds and stuff. Let's see here how I have to check. Um, since it's raining, I should be able to get Sebastian. Should be able to talk to Sebastian quite easily. Um, yeah, and worms is something to keep an eye out for because they will. Uh, spawn all over the place when it's raining. They are more frequent on rainy days, so I usually always have all my tools with me because yeah, you really do want every single tool with you and on you because if you don't there will be a time when you find for example if you don't have the hoe and you see a worm in the ground I can guarantee you you will see worms for days all over the place when you don't have your hoe with you uh, then you won't see if you then bring your hoe all the time you won't see a single worm that's how it works basically um, not really but it feels that way so having all your tools with you is convenient um, juggling tools might actually be um, a good thing if you can make it uh, if you can make it work and uh, make it as um, efficient as possible and you really know really are skilled at juggling your tools to only have the tools you need exactly when you need it but that requires you to basically plan everything you do in absolute detail. Which might suck out the fun of the game because... Yeah, no, not every single time will be... Uh, the same. But if you do that, it might actually become exactly the same because yeah hard to explain but it might not be as fun uh, it might just be frustrating let's see 
Yeah, I need a Jojo Cola. I don't think I have one. Um, I have four more people to talk to. I can never remember. Is he here? Yeah, why are you sitting there? I think... Because that dude uh, in the basement there, I haven't talked to him. I know I haven't. Um, he is quite annoying in that he basically never leave the house unless unless it's night or rainy days and yeah it's a rainy day uh, but he's not leaving and yeah I'm not sure why he's not running around doing stuff outside he's huge he likes the rain and that's why he goes out outside on rainy days but yeah I don't know um, what it is oh my god that's a lot of flowers I'm gonna donate the rusty spoon uh, and as you can see it's an artifact and it tells me that Gunter can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum uh, that tooltip will not say, uh, say the same uh, will not have the same text if I find another rusty spoon so that's a really handy way of knowing if you need to if you have something to hand in or not and usually like this in the beginning you just hand in everything because you don't have anything <laughs> um, let's see here yeah, yeah th there's a lot of flowers around here That's some seeds. I don't have place or room for it or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna eat this one. Pack this one up and I'm gonna run back and empty our inventory. And one thing to note on Wednesdays in this game is this. Closed on Wednesday, so Pierre's store is actually closed. Uh, he shuts the store on Wednesdays, which means you can't buy seeds. If you need seeds on a Wednesday, yeah, you're out of luck. You can't buy seeds on Wednesdays from Pierre's. It's not possible. And... Let's see here, um, I thought, yeah. Sneaky! There's a dandelion. There was a dandelion behind the bush, so some of these things can actually can actually spawn behind stuff, which makes them nigh impossible to to spot uh, as long as you might uh, mouse over uh, a suspicious place like that you will actually be able to see the icon get a green plus uh, if it has a green plus there it's something you can pick up from the ground so that's something to take note of Yeah, yeah, and I think the episodes uh, might become a bit longer, um, but squeezing in two days in one ep episode might actually be what is required, so you we don't have like twenty minutes episode because yeah, who wants twenty minutes episodes? 
The longer the better. Not really, but... Best, uh, the best thing is quality, not quantity, but... Not sure you can call this quality. Not sure you can call it quantity either, so we'll just have to see. That's something you have to decide. Not something I can decide. Let's see here. We Yeah, and this is the the thing, the first like five days I would probably say. Yeah, five days. Um is basically you running around cleaning and tidying up this mess that is called your garden and not only your own garden but also the the other uh, areas like the forest and and so on i'm starting to feel exhausted okay it's nine Nine, that's... I actually want to keep on going a bit, so I'm going to take four of these and eat them. And anyone that wonders, uh, wondering, I'm right-clicking while have it in my, in my hand. This prompts this window, and then I press Y to say yes. I'm gonna cut down this one tree. That might be it. Yeah, I have a bit more energy. I have 32 energy. But yeah. Yeah, the energy gets sucked up fast. Um, to say the least. And there is one thing I will actually. Before turning in for the night I will go over here and read this letter and TTG wait for my return on the dawn of your third year grandpa so yeah grandpa left a note on his grave this is his grave Grandpa's shrine, yeah, his shrine, his shrine there. He he left a note uh, asking you to come back there on the third year. And yeah, we'll see. I have never gotten that far because yeah, I'm impatient. When it comes to this game, uh, once I actually get to like the second year, I um, have gone beyond beyond my uh, scope of fun in this game, because at that point I have basically everything, and every everything is automated. And I have more or less unlimited money at that point. Which isn't super fun, but yeah, it's... Mm, there we go. I, I might actually go all the way to the third year uh, to like finish the game, so to speak. You can be uh, go beyond the third year. In this game, I don't think there's a limit on how many years you can uh, keep on playing. But yeah, we might stop when we get to that point. But I have basically, I'm actually going to spend all as much energy as I can. And these stumps. Your axe isn't strong enough to break this stump, so I'm gonna have to upgrade my axe. Because it's not good enough. 
So I can't remove those, um, which is too bad because they are sort of in the way. But yeah, we are going to, I'm actually going to make sure we get, I can't remember if we sold something, I think we did, but I'm going to sell something so we get, we are guaranteed to get the um, money screen and we are going to sleep. And there we are going to call the episode. We level up in mining. And yeah, we earned 30 from the, the flower. So I'm going to call this episode here. We are then going to say thanks for watching. Goodbye. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.